This is my brother, Keegan. At the age of 12, he began chasing his dream of competing in the Winter Olympics for freestyle skiing. At the age of 18, though, he began falling behind with the strength training workouts. A couple months later, he received the diagnosis of muscular dystrophy, a neuromuscular disease characterized by a loss in muscle mass, which results in progressive muscle weakness. For Keegan and others like him, there's no cure. That means they have to do whatever it takes to maintain their strength. But how do they do this? Currently, strength training is frowned upon for these individuals. Since the muscle is missing a critical protein needed to build and maintain healthy muscle, it's believed that the muscle is highly susceptible to damage associated with muscle contractions. Therefore, exercise is believed to speed the progression of the disease. And this makes sense. Keegan realized he had muscular dystrophy because he fell behind in his workouts. But I disagree. For every day that you and I are inactive, we lose three days of strength. So if an individual with muscular dystrophy is losing strength each day due to the disease process and being told not to exercise, wouldn't that mean that inactivity would also speed the progression of the disease? My research examines how strength training affects the progression of muscular dystrophy. Basically, I'm a personal trainer for zebrafish with this disease. And quite honestly, training zebrafish is much easier than humans because they don't complain, they don't need water breaks, and they always show up to training sessions. So how do you get zebrafish to lift weights? And my answer is neuromuscular electrical stimulation. And this is a common therapeutic approach used in sports medicine to prevent muscle wasting. And we've adapted this technique for our zebrafish. Our zebrafish are placed between a positive and negative electrode and receive series of electrical pulses that vary in frequency and voltage to mimic each of the four types of strength training, endurance, hypertrophy, strength, and power. And these are like what you and I would do in regards to repetition and weight. So zebrafish let us study everything we want to know about strength training. We examine the size and architecture of the muscle. We assess muscle function and muscle strength. And right now, we know that the purple train, or endurance training, improves the muscle's architecture and improves swimming ability. So what does this mean for Keegan and others like him? It means there may be a way to halt the progression of this disease while they continue to wait for a cure. Thank you.